Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's makeup tutorial that I'm going to do for you is of Jean Shrimpton, or The Shrimp as you may know her. She is an English model actress and I think classed as one of the first supermodels. So let me get started, I hope you enjoy. To start off with I'm going to use a Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm going to pop a small amount onto the back of my hand and then I'm going to use a Real Techniques Expert face brush to work that into the skin. I've chosen this foundation because it's quite matte and in the 60s the makeup was reasonably matte most of the time. Now I love doing 60s makeup but I hate doing models makeup um, because I'm not a model, a model's always so perfect and beautiful that I always find it really daunting to do a model's makeup. I don't mind the celebrity ones, but um, supermodels especially, I try and steer clear of. But, couldn't not do Jean Shimpton. I'm then going to take a little bit of Max Studio Finish Concealer on a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush and I'm just going to work that through my brow bone. A little bit under my eyes, just in this really dark area here. And I've got a few pregnancy blemishes just at the back of my face, so I'm going to push that over those to conceal it. I'm then going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to keep them matte as well, so I'm going to use a Louise Young palette. And in here it's got five fantastic matte shades. I'm going to use a 217 and the matte base colour and I'm going to take that right up to the brow bone. I'm also going to run that underneath the eye. I'm then going to take this dark colour here. It's kind of a grey brown and a Louise Young 38B. I'm just going to run that through the socket but just a little bit higher and it's not very well blended actually it's kind of just sat there very 60s so it gives a little arch With a MAC 239 I'm going to run that under the eye as well. I'm then going to take my 217 that I've already used and just buff out the edge a tiny bit. Inside the eye I'm going to use a soft yellow pencil. This one's called Pale Yellow from MAC. I don't think they do it anymore, but any soft yellow would be perfect. I'm just going to pull the eye down and just pop that inside the waterline. And that's going to go right the way to the very edge. So right in this very corner you do. Also in this palette there's a black. I'm going to use a MAC 266 
and the black with a tiny bit of the dark brown and just run that along the lash line underneath. On the top I'm going to use Black Tracks by MAC and a Louise Young Fine Liner Brush just to create a really nice black liner. And this is quite a 60s liner so it's a little, it's quite fine at the start and it goes a little bit thicker through the end. I'm also going to run that in the underneath waterline, so the top waterline, just to make that a little bit more solid. I'm then going to go in with some mascara and I have got MAC False Lashes Mascara. And I'm going to pop that on both top and bottom. Next for the eyebrows, I've got Anastasia Brow Wiz, and this one is in medium ash. Now Jean's brows were much fuller than mine, um, and very natural, and that's going to be quite hard for me to do. Um, to make them fuller, they won't look as natural, but I'll try my best. And they're almost like the same width all the way along. Fill them in and then use the other end of my brow with just to brush the brows up as much as I can so they look slightly more natural. And by doing that I can also see which bits I need to fill in a bit more. Brush them up. I'm then going to powder the skin into place and I've got Clinique Translucent Powder. This one is in O2. And I'm just using a multitask brush to push that over the skin. Next, to add a tiny bit of blush, I've got MAC Buff Blush and I'm going to use a Real Techniques Contour Blush brush, blush, brush, just to put that on the cheeks. A little bit contouring them but a little bit on the cheek as well and not too much. Just to add a bit of shape and a bit of colour. Then for the lips, I've got a little bit of sleek. This is called Pout Polish, and this one is in Peach Perfection. I'm going to add a little bit to my lips first. I'm 
I'm then going to take a MAC lip pencil, this one is called In Cinch, and I'm going to colour the lip in. I'm then going to take Collections 2000, this is number 12, Pink Haven, and go around the outside of the lip. Then lastly for the lashes, lashes on both top and bottom. I have got um, Amazing Shine lashes. These ones are in um, 747. So they are going on the bottom and they're actually going very close to the actual lash line, which is very uncomfortable. But that's the price of being a supermodel. I'm afraid. And then on the top lash I have got number 43. So just look down and place them on. And there you have the finished Jean Shrimpton look or the shrimp. I hope you enjoyed that and found it interesting. You guys have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.